just the way I am, by eating hard. <laughs> this is Brandon, who's who's laughing. He says my voice tickles him. I don't know how. He has the giggles because he's tired and he should be in bed by now. Andrew gets ready for bed every night. He looks in the mirror to measure his height. He brushes his teeth. He washes his face and then straight to bed to dream about space. See, he's tired because he's giggly. Tonight when in front of the mirror he stood, Andrew saw something that didn't look good. What is this thing? What could it be? Andrew was worried. But what did he see? What did he see, Brandon? Uh, it's in his... It's a bird it's one big brown thing. And then it's a right? bookmark. I know. Don't tell the ending. It's a big, one big brown thing. It's definitely right. not a bookmark. It's right there on his hand. It's usually, it looks awful. I don't understand. Yep, he's, he's laughing because he's sleepy. He bent to the sink and snatched up the soap. He scrubbed back and forward, his eyes full of hope. I hope everybody knows I'm actually holding the tablet in my hand really tight. And he's laughing his head off in his bed. When Andrew ha was done, he a yawn. <gasps> and he down to see if the thing would be gone. The thing is still there, said Andrew with a smile. How would I go to preschool tomorrow? What can I do to wipe out this, this thing? I need to remove it. I cannot explain. Anyone has a sick little child who's very giggly when it's not Mine neither becomes very giggly. Okay. I know what to do to stop this huge pain. I'll put a big sticker right over the thing. Can that work? Can you put a, a, a sticker on your birthmark and make it go away? Nope. There's no way you can get rid of your birthmark. Okay. Now you just showed it time. Andrew had a sticker collection. He, they, stop. They saw what he saw in his reflection. He chose a big gold one shaped like a train. And then Andrew stuck it right over the stain. Aww. Andrew went back to the mirror to check. And this time he saw now he went a speck. The stain disappeared. He totally vanished. He didn't inspect it. He looked so astonished. Andrew was joyful. It's finished. No stain. My skin looks perfect. I'm normal again. The next day was normal, and preschool was fun. So Andrew forgot about what he had done. He finished his day with a hot shower. He will be sleeping within an hour. He glanced at the mirror, last look before bed, and couldn't believe what he saw straight ahead. Oh, oh, what he saw again. What's this? Birthmark, yep. I cannot believe this. It's really unfair. The big and brown stain is clearly still there. I had one for many, many years. Oh, what can I do to wipe out this stain? I need to remove it. I cannot remain. It cannot remain. Mine stood there for almost 40 years. Then one more idea popped into his head. I think that I solved it, Andrew then said. I'll draw a nice flower all over the spot. And there, in its center, will be a brown dot. Ooh, what a pretty drawing. So Andrew did exactly as, as planned. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He drew a big flower all over his hand. Andrew was careful and didn't get wet. Oh. Two days went by, but he didn't forget. Then when he thought his troubles were gone, it vanished as though it had never been drawn. Of course. Andrew returned to the mirror on the wall. He didn't like what he saw there at all. The drawing was gone. It just wasn't fair. Only the big, ugly stain was still there. Oh, what can I do to wipe out this stain? 
I need to remove it. It cannot remain. So Angie thought, considered, and planned a shirt with long sleeves to cover my hand. He opened his closet and looked all around and pulled out the sweet shirt he finally found. Oh, sweatshirt, not sweet shirt. Imagine if you ate it. It's a sweatshirt. I want this shit so sweet. Oops, I just brought the giggles back on him. Andrew ran back to see his reflection and was very pleased with his inspection. I can't see. <laughs> I look normal again, Andrew exclaimed. The stain won't come back. I won't be ashamed. See, I brought the giggles again. But Andrew forgot just one little thing. It wasn't winter, autumn, or spring. The summer was hot. He sweat through and through. So Andrew decided just it just wouldn't do. He took off his sweatshirt as well as he might and ran to his mom. She'd make things all right. You think it's what do you do? You should always tell your parents, right? Andrew then hugged her, his face very grim. He, she needed to know what happened to him. Mom, I need help. Please follow me. There is something very wrong. You should see. He left his mother right out of his room and almost cried out from sadness and gloom. What happened, my dear? Why are you so... Stress. Why? All of a sudden. <laughs> are you so depressed? Andrew then answered. It's this big brown stain. I tried to remove it, but my work was in vain. Hey. Andrew, honey, this stain is called the birthmark. Just let me explain. When you were born, God gave you this sign. To know you are important and a love, son of mine. Your father has one in, on his back. You should see. And that's not, doesn't matter. At least not to me. I love him the same, just like I love you. No one can love you as much as I do. The birthmark just doesn't exist in my eyes. I don't even notice it on both of you guys. You're right, Mom. Andrew agreed. It's really, it's really, it's nothing indeed. Tomorrow I'll go to preschool with ease and no one will notice. It will be a breeze. Andrew's mother kissed him and smiled. It's time for bed, my dear little child. That's that night Andrew slept very well. Very deep. He even had a great dream in his sleep. He Ow. dreamt that he walked into preschool proudly and everybody hugged him and clapped very loudly. Andrew became a big star. He was glad. They all asked to see the cool stain in he that he had. Seeing such a thing doesn't happen every day. God had marked Andrew in a very special way. Thank you for reading this book. Oh. So who has the birthmark? Him. You. I think I can name him Tim. Ha 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 ha. Who has a birthmark like him? But not in his hand. Me. In your hand, not in your, um, it's in your left hand. And it looks like a world when he was born. He had a map on his hand. All the yeah. nurses came, used to take pictures of it. Right? Yeah. I used to have pictures of it, but my, my cell phone was stolen. So I can't show it to you. Okay. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, so, so.